This is AD4 TV Radio News Update coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. I am Jessica Ochai. Nigeria is to construct 38 oxygen plants across the country to help fight COVID-19. A 6.45 billion naira fund has been approved by President Muhammad Buhari for that purpose. Vice President Yemio Simbajo disclosed this at the first National Economic Council meeting for the year. Present were state governors, federal capital territory minister, central bank governor, and other senior government officials. Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, while briefing the NEC on the release of the funds, said the president approved the release of the funds for the production of oxygen, owing to the increasing number of patients needing it. The surge in COVID-19 infections in the country has further made the project compelling. Over 1,400 Nigerians have died from COVID-19 virus, with some of them dying due to inadequate oxygen at the isolation centers. Meanwhile, the United Kingdom has banned all arrivals from Tanzania and Democratic Republic of Congo, starting on Friday. The action is to curtail the spread of the South Africa variant of COVID-19. UK Transport Secretary Grant Sharp stated this in a tweet on Thursday, saying, all passengers from these countries except British and Irish nationals and third country nationals with residence rights will be denied entry. In a related development, there are concerns that some fuel marketing companies might be selling contaminated fuel to airlines due to poor regulations. The industry was alerted to this when two airlines discovered that their aircraft contained over 100 liters bought fuel from the same source last year. The discovery to flights being aborted to avert accidents that may have occurred if the flight had taken off. The Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA, in reaction, is intensifying the monitoring of your marketers. We take a break now. When we return, Google threatens to block Australians. Stay with us. Hi, my name is Andrew Samuel Bumba. My name is Hawashi Karao. My name is Gloria Oche Emanuel. My name is Elsie Organic Karo. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. AD for TV Radio. AD for TV Radio. AD for TV Radio. Cheers. Welcome back. The search engine Google on Friday threatened to block Australians if using its service unless the government retracts the law making internet companies pay content fee to news outlets. Google Australian Managing Director Mel Silver told the Senate Committee in Canberra that the World First Media Law was unworkable and would determine the function of the internet. The legislation was introduced last year to force Google and Facebook to pay local media organizations to host news content or face millions of dollars in fine. The law is seen as one of the most aggressive moves globally to check the power of the U.S. tech giants. On sports, the Japanese government has reassured that the Tokyo Olympics will go on. The assurance came in response to unconfirmed reports about possible cancellation of the fiesta. Though much of Japan is under a state of emergency due to a third wave of COVID-19 infections, Tokyo Olympic organizers have vowed to press ahead with the games that had once previously been rescheduled. The games are due to open on 23rd of July 2021 after being put off for a year because of the coronavirus. Still on sports, FC Vizela has confirmed the signing of Nigerian youngster Emmanuel Adeyemo from Nigerian Football Academy 444. The 18-year-old will remain at the Estudio de Football Club de Vizela until 2024, having penned a four-year deal with the Portuguese second division outfit for an undisclosed fee. On a lighter mood, you know, it's possible to spell out all the numbers from 1 to 100 without using the letter A. I am sure you're counting already. What is the first number with an A in it? Remember, coronavirus is real. Ensure you wash your hands regularly. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Wear your masks besides maintaining social distancing. That's it on 84 TV Radio News Updates. 
You can join the conversation on our website at www.84tvradio.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at 84TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at 84TV Radio as well. Many thanks for watching. I am Jessica Ochai.